Hi, trendsetters everywhere who have discovered this channel. There are so many requests and I wanted to catch up because you guys ask such brilliant questions and often the news du jour takes over and kicks us all between the eyes and I have to cover some issues. So I thought I'd catch up here. So this is going to be a mixed bag. We've got all sorts of things coming up including Hope Hicks and Saudi Arabia and all sorts and even Canada. Oh, God bless all Canadian viewers. You're having a hard time. So I'll do my best to cover what I can today. So, and that's without Muller's testimony. So, look, I think we're all a bit gun shy after the release of the Muller report to not want to expect too much, but let's hope people finally get it on some level that he's not too robotic and legal and somehow it manages to get across, but that's not what I'm reading on today. So I'm going to start with Hope Hicks, basically because I think she's really dreary and I don't want to spend much time on her, so I'm going to whip through Hope Hicks. So what happened there during the week was um, her lawyers played very clever word games. So she was asked, was she present when discussions were had about paying Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougall? Karen McDougal? And she was sort of hand on heart Girl Scout. No. She probably wasn't in the room, but she was part of the emails and the phone conversations and subsequent conversations. So, yeah. So, is there going to be any blowback for her? Hope Hicks. Is there going to be any blowback for Hope Hicks? Hope Hicks. Just a quick read with the Japa Rize deck. All right. Now. Oh, Hope. Huh? Well, ha, ha, is all I've got to say about that. I could stop right there. Right on top, she has the death card. She's not going to get away with this. I thought she might just weasel out of it by f flicking the hair and fluttering the eyelashes. But this is saying quite definitively... Um, with the death card, it's the end of one whole way of being and the start of a new cycle. I think she is going to get into a bit more trouble over this. I don't think we have seen the last of Hope Hicks's name. That's because the Wheel of Fortune is coming up, meaning this is a karmic story. Her destiny was to be plucked out of obscurity. I think she was a friend of Ivanka's first off. Got a job for which she was ill-equipped. It seems to be the only criteria for getting a job in the Trump administration is not having a clue. That seems to be the only thing you need on your CV and you go to the top of the list. So she did that. And then now she's caught in this karmic death spiral if you like, with the bigger things that are going on because she failed to tell the truth. She then gets the Empress card. She's growing up. When all this was happening, she was in her late 20s and I think she's still only 29 or 30 or something. So she's just maturing. <coughs> Excuse me. But because she has the Death card and the Ten of Swords coming up, I think she's being forced to grow up, but at a price. So her life will not be the same again, and not so much in a good way. She gets 
the Ten of Winds or the Ten of Swords, the tree full of bats. The Ten of Swords in the Rider Waite is stabbed in the back. And something else just flashed into my mind, which may or may not be accurate. It's just a little flicker. Ivanka often gets the Empress card for me. Um, this could be Ivanka stirring the pot. Why would she be doing that? I think there's something Ivanka is saying or doing that's actually making hope situation worse. Quick clarifier. Because Hope Hicks, as this naive young intern, basically, friend of Ivanka's, she's suddenly in with, you know, Steve Bannon and Stephen Miller and these seriously ugly creatures right out of adept from the beginning. But what's Ivanka got to do with this? Why am I picking up on Ivanka with Hope Hicks? Oh, the day. I think this is taking a toll on hope. I think it was all, it was obviously stressful to have to go and give testimony and all that. And then having to lie. Not good. I think Ivanka, if she has had a role, I'm not 100% on this, viewers. It's, it's more a hunch as opposed to an intuitive revelation. It's more of a hunch. The betrayal by Ivanka is what's making her sick in the guts, you know. I think she thought they were friends. And if Ivanka thinks she can get out of something and dob someone else in, you could be darn sure she'd be there with bells on. So, my takeaway for Hope, it's not finished yet. There will be more and it won't be very nice. I'm not seeing jail. Even though she gets the Ten of Swords, which can be jail, I'm not seeing jail for her. But there's going to be some sort of legal follow-up. Okay, now there's all this weirdness with Saudi Arabia. We've got these mythical arms deals that Trump talks about from time to time. I've just sold billions of dollars worth of arms deals to Saudi. Really? Has anyone seen the contract? No, because there is no contract. So the Saudis have been playing him like a marionette because he's such a buffoon. He's staggeringly simple to manipulate. So you had the simpleton of con man Trump thinking he had a deal just because they had a conversation. And then you have the ever more demonic Kushner, who's up to his ghoulies in debt to the Middle East and getting deals. So what I'm interested in in this reading, a viewer has requested, has Kushner been selling intelligence to the Saudis? That's the question. Has Kushner sold intelligence outright for personal gain to the Saudis? Yes or no? Kushner. Oh, Ivanka is more involved than we thought. God, it's Ivanka's day. Oh. He's in the wrong playground. He's... Don't overread it, Lena. Keep it simple. On top, I'm going to be very fair and very nice. He has the sun. The sun shines out of his proverbial as far as Trump is concerned. I don't think Trump likes him, but he's been incredibly useful because he could have Kushner take over everything. The opioid crisis, 17,000 dead a year through overdose. See, he's done nothing, but most particularly the Middle East. So he had the blessing of the President of the United States, i.e. the father-in-law. It's, it's so Game of Thrones, it's ridiculous. So he had a sanction to go ahead and do whatever he wanted. 
and he did. Okay, the Empress, this is Ivanka, she went and dazzled from time to time when appropriate, looking gorgeous. Um, she is somehow implicit. It's different from complicit, Ivanka. It's a different word. But you were implicitly involved in this. Hmm, I hadn't thought about that before. Now, Stranger of Gardens, Knight of Pentacles, the mercenary. So the answer to the question is here, right here in this card. It's normally the card of the mercenary. He has sold intelligence for money as far as I'm concerned with this reading. But the problem is... Nothing disappears in the modern world. There is some track. The, the offer he doesn't want is that now the Saudis are coming back and going, we let your father-in-law say he sold us all these arms that we haven't actually paid for. We've given you hundreds of millions of dollars to get you out of debt because we wanted the influence that we've had with you. But you know what? It's payback time. So they have made him an offer he doesn't want and he has just realised he's playing with the wolves. He thought he was the smartest kid on the block. He's not even the 103rd smartest kid on the block. He's a dodo in an expensive suit and now look out. The other question, while this spread is there, sorry, while this spread is there, was did Khashoggi know this? Did Jared Kushner's, sorry, now you've got me back again. This is something that's being talked about. Kushner, we all know if you read behind the scenes, and I'm talking real media and international media here, has been playing with a lot of the Middle Eastern states, right? The question is, did Khashoggi know? Is that one of the reasons Khashoggi was killed? So this is big. I'm going to leave this layout and I'm going to do cards on top. Actually, I'm pausing a moment here and I'm going to get the rush. Okay, I'm back and I'm kind of intrigued by this. I hadn't thought about it before, but I think the little Vera Sibylla cards are too sweet and kind for clarifiers. This is a serious question, so I'm bringing out the Russian cards here. Let's have a look. Did Khashoggi know what Kushner was up to? And did this contribute to what happened to Khashoggi? Was there a connection? Saudi and Khashoggi and Kushner. Ooh, let us see. Mm. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. Or maybe you will. I hope you will, because <laughs> it's really staggeringly clear, shockingly clear. Okay. So, Nine of Swords, someone on the edge of a cliff in dire straits. This is the one that's often the hostage card in the Rider Waite and so forth. Is this Kushner or is it Khashoggi? But someone is literally on the edge of the precipice and they're not there for a picnic. These are heavyweight cards. Why are they there? The tower. They get the tower. So major decisions were made, colossal decisions were made around this. I'm thinking this is speaking to Khashoggi himself as a journalist. 
he gets the tower. So, in other words, he pissed off the Saudis so severely with what he was about to unveil that this did play a role. We have the Ace of Cups. This was a very emotional issue. Emotional for Khashoggi, but also emotional for the Saudis because he was a Saudi journalist and he held the goods. See, all the papers, he had the evidence there, the scrolls, the evidence, the tracking. Dear, I can't believe it. This is that weird card in the 12 chairs tarot of being shaved and having to trust this person, just as everyone who has an old-fashioned barber shave had to trust the person wielding the scalpel. And as if that wasn't clear enough, this being Khashoggi and this being the other people who were in attendance at the embassy, I'm sorry, there it is, the blood on the knife. The blood on the knife. Well, sometimes you want to know and sometimes you just don't. I hadn't put that together at all, so thank you for the viewers who put those questions together. I'm now going to move on. All right. So I'm going to put these cards back in the Japarize deck and I'm going to look at Canada. So you guys have your own problems with conservative politicians and sort of moving to the right and it's, it is a real worry. Um, but I think the worst thing that's happened recently, of course, is being set up to arrest the female CEO of Huawei. And that led to um, the two Canadians who have been jailed as punishment for that. It was a filthy, despicable act by the US. I think the CIA actually took a very low line on this. I don't know whether it was a CIA idea or whether Trump somehow has people inside. Who decided? That's a question. Who decided to ask Canada to do that? I'm going to ask that question. So was it Trump or was it other people? It was such an awful act and Canada in good faith against their own better judgment, went and arrested her. Really, Trudeau should have just said no and risk the wrath of the Yeti. Was it the Yeti's idea, though? I don't know. The Huawei arrest in Canada, was it Trump or someone else? The Empress. Mr. Fire, fire. Hmm. What's going on with Ivanka? She has turned up again. Why is she here? Well, the first answer would be, well, I think we've got the answer to a lot of things here. Remember, be more than a year ago when the heads of state all met and Ivanka was next to Trudeau and made Bambi eyes at Trudeau. That's when the seeds were sown. How shallow is this president? Here she is in the centre. Ace of Swords. I don't think this was a CIA operative idea. I think this was purely pushed by Trump out of sheer ice cold vengeance. Vengeance can be hot and cold. That's the cold version. We're now moving to the hot version. So the Queen of Wands here, I think, is the Chinese executive who was arrested. 
very powerful woman, wands of fire, wands of energy, wands of power, all that. I think it's her. Because of Ivanka, the Empress, it all went ahead. And the page of wands, the message. Someone sent the message through that this should go ahead. This is not a typical international thing. Asking someone to be arrested in another country on your behalf. We all know from watching Julian Assange's story and everything, it's not easy to get people extradited. It's not typical that someone like an extremely powerful Chinese executive, the daughter of one of the richest men in China and in the world, to have her arrested, but you haven't got the guts to do it yourself, so you send someone else. You send the junior player, the page, in this case Canada, being a junior player to the US, a disgusting act, a dog act. How awful are these people? Who was the messenger? I'll try and find out. So to me, it's Trump's idea, him jumping up and down because he was jealous of Trudeau being the young, handsome um, leader of a country. And he is the old Yeti lumbering round in his tighty whities as a figure of ridicule. He hates Trudeau. So who was the messenger? To Canada. Who was the messenger to Canada? Who conveyed this bit of diplomatic, just dreadful diplomatic abuse? Who conveyed the message? Ooh. Oops. Oops. So the card that came out, Giovanni Facili, the young woman. The young woman, not Ivanka. Who was the young woman? Oh, not so young. I think this is Nikki Haley. I think it was Nikki Haley. She agreed to do the tough talk and I think she got a favour for it. I'm just getting a whole download on Nikki Haley. This is an ambitious woman. Dangerous woman, that Nikki Haley. Now, her job was technically to the UN or whatever, but that's international. I think Trump asked Nikki Haley because he loves her and can trust her and she's one of the few efficient people in his entire stratosphere. I think Nikki Haley put the hard word either on the CIA to then approach Canada or directly somehow. She was involved. Nikki Haley. What a creature. Oh. Well. <clears throat> really, truly. So, I've done hope. Don't think. The other snippet, speaking of China, is that Apple has taken the production of Mac Pro. Is that the new wonder version of whatever they're doing they've been making them in texas and now because of the stupid tariffs they're taking it out of texas so texas you can say goodbye to these jobs thank you trump and gone to china and basically all this pressure that's been on these big corporations this is raising the middle digit to this administration well look guys so much crime and so little time i think that might be the title of this video i'll leave it there so i can upload it for you bye for now keep writing in and thank you and I'll, oh special shout out to mary ann from Re revealing light tarot thank you mary ann you've helped hold my hand while i was wrestling with youtube thank you bye for now groovers